let's talk a little bit about the templates that are available in Google Sheets. So templates are generally documents that someone has created and opened up for everyone to use on the web. Now Google usually, uh, they, ha they provide a few templates, so I'm going to show you a few templates that exist in Google um, and uh, uh, how you can find other templates outside of the ones that are provided by Google. So first, come up to the file, and if you hit New from Template, you'll get a new option here. So on a new page, you'll have a few sections, and essentially you can select anything within um, this template section. So I could come in here and select this annual budget, and it would bring me to this template. And this will actually save in my Google Drive automatically. Um, once I start making changes and, and actually I, I believe as soon as I yeah last edit was seconds ago so now it's saved at the annual budget in my Google Drive automatically. A few examples of other templates that exist uh, there's a monthly budget now notice a lot of these have been um, have been adjusted in such a way that they have formulas and things like that already in them so for example in this in this uh, template Note, only edit the highlighted cells. So what, what happens is I come down here and I say my food budget is going to be $300 this month. And the actual, um, depending on what ha happens, it will actually calculate my difference. Okay. Um, and if you look down here in transactions, and click here. If I type in my transactions, like, I don't know, we'll say 9, 15, 2016, we spent $50 on food. And it's like the category of food. That amount has now calculated. Um, so as long as I keep track of my transactions, it will keep uh, kind of keep me in in check. Anyway, um, that's just a monthly budget template that's available. A lot of these templates have formulas and functions in them, so you can uh, uh, save yourself a lot of work. To-do list, another example. Notice when I hit, when I check these off, it crosses the item off. It also tells me how many I've completed. Um, if I add an item, it's also going to add how many need to be completed. I can filter. Um, so that I'm only showing the blanks. Okay, another example of a template that's available. And finally, a calendar template. This could be used if you had a schedule that you were creating, say for kids' soccer practice. Um, kids' soccer practice 2017. So we come in here and we highlight all the days. They probably don't have practice on Sunday, but Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And uh, we're going to highlight these in, we'll say green, I don't know. And then uh, maybe they have a game on Saturday, so we'll highlight that in red. And you could set up your schedule, print it out. You could add other little details within the sheet. Uh, I'm not going to go over that here, but uh, yeah, a template to help you get started. Now, if you do look through the templates that are available here, and you don't like any that they have, don't be discouraged. There's other templates that are, I mean, people create templates all the time on the web. How to access those? All I do is I just go to Google. This is a Google search I did before. So I just go to Google and I searched Google budget template. Maybe I, I wanted a different budget template than the one that was provided. You might even want to include sheets in here, you know. Um, anyway, and I found this one. So I just click on a link. It's going to take me to a new template and it kind of gives me a preview. This one does a similar effect. I can type in what my projected and what my actual is and it tells me what the difference is. If I click use template, that template's now available for me to use. So templates can save you a lot of time and they're easy to use. There's tons of them out there. Uh, you can even create your own templates and share them with friends. So uh, yeah, that's Google Sheets templates.